Green, right? Yep. Ray Hafner. Hi. Hey, look, um, I'm hoping we can just jump in and do the job. Sound good? Sure. Great. Hafner, uh, word is he's tough by mm -hmm. the book. I think he started out in the FBI Organized Crime Division. He had a couple of high-profile busts using wiretaps and creative surveillance techniques. Surveillance, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? I'm eh, just curious. Oh. Think he's smarter than you? Yes. Think he's smarter than me? Yes. You're probably right. Hello? LaRoche. Yes? Hi, it's Lisbon. I wanted to ask a favor. It's about Sally Carter. Yes, sir? Busy agent. Sorry, but there's nothing unusual in Kuzmenko's checking or savings accounts. I did find something else, though. What? Uh, a couple days before he was killed, Kuzmenko made four phone calls to an Oleg Mostovoy. He's not with the gym, and it's the only time Kuzmenko made the calls. It's right before Kuzmenko started saying he had a lot of cash. Maybe Mostovoy had something to do with that. Or maybe he's a friend. We want to find the money, track the money. Find that, and then we can talk about Mostovoy, Muscovoy, whatever his name is. Open it up. Mrs. Carter. Mrs. Carter. Get a medical team here! Ladies and gentlemen, 10 years ago, Teresa Lisbon left the San Francisco Police Department to join the California Bureau of Investigation. Today, she is, without doubt, the rootinest, tootinest, sharpshootinest cop in the whole state of California. Happy anniversary, boss. Yeah. Here. So if we could start the music, please. I had no idea. Let's party. Congratulations, Lisbon. Thank you, Ron. Why did you do this? That was Rigsby's idea. Yeah. Is he taking his clothes off? He is. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Ray. Hafner, good Man. to see you. You know, I really enjoyed when we worked together. We should do it again sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean when you almost got me fired? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Mm. Hey, um, can we grab lunch? There's just something I want to discuss with you. Yeah, sure. All right, I'll call you, Jane. Yeah. Kirby doesn't like me. You got lunch here. You got... I'm oh, here. look out. What? What's the name of the group? Vision. No. Visualize. You heard of it? Hello. Teresa, it's Ray Hafner. I've been looking for you. Hey, Ray. What's up? I was wondering if we could snag that lunch today at 1 o'clock at the State House Cafe. Sure. You want to tell me what this is about? I'm intrigued. Then my plan is working. I'll see you then. What does he want? I've lined up some capital. I'm starting my own firm. Security and investigations for high-end clients. I was wondering if you'd consider coming with me. Right. You're one of the top agents in the division. Everyone knows it. You, you deserve a position commensurate with your gifts. I am flattered, Ray, but I like my job. Hey, Ray. Hey. I was uh, just checking in, see if you had a chance to think about the offer. I think you already know my answer. You're missing out on something big. I'm sure I am. How's the case? You getting anywhere? We're making progress. Did you get anything from the stuff Cooper sent down? No, not much. Hmm. Ray, Jason Cooper's name isn't on that board. So? How did you know he sent us material? Someone on your team must have told me. No one else knew except myself and Jane. After we dumped the body, 
We got out of there as fast as we could. I had a feeling someone was there with us. Someone was watching us. Hey, you got a second? Sure. Word is Holly Preston's only gonna face manslaughter charges for the homicides. Is that true? Uh, we suggested it to the DDA and he agreed. Really? She claims she did it in self-defense and we believed her. She'll serve time. And three guys got killed. She only killed one of them and it was in self-defense. That's what she says. Are you in the business of taking killers at their word? I believe her. Did someone from Visualize ask you to talk to me? Because you've never come to my office and questioned my arrests before. I might have gotten some calls. Might have heard some concern that you pushed for lighter sentences because the victims were church, and maybe you don't like the church. Absolutely not. Would you be willing to push for a murder charge, have another talk with the DDA? Absolutely not. OK. Had to try. You said that you joined Visualize as a teenager. So 1988, you would have been 21? Yeah, about that. Did they ever send you to work at the Elliston Farm? Were you there? Lisbon, we're still friends, right? Why would you ask me that? Uh, Mrs. Lee, Carmen Lee? Oh, sorry, wrong room, I guess. Sorry. John has been ahead of us this entire time. I know you say he's not psychic, but I'm not sure. Hmm. You said to yourself, when Red John killed Eileen Turner, it was like he reached inside your head and killed a happy memory. How could he do that if he's not psychic? That's a good question. I don't think you're wrong. Really? It could definitely be Bertram. There's something creepy about him. There is something creepy about him, isn't there? So you're, uh... Agreeing with me. I guess. All right. Yeah, they're letting anybody into the hospital these days. Ray. Hey, Teresa. Sorry about this. What are you doing here? Well, I heard that my favorite CBI agent was laid up. I thought I'd stop by. Oh, thanks. Nice suit. Private sector's treating you all right. Yeah, I do OK. So what happened? Oh, nothing, but I scraped my knee. Yeah, that's not what I hear. I hear you were this close to Red John. That's some scary stuff. You OK? Fine. It turns out Red John isn't so tough. You know, he barely laid a hand on me. Good for you. I like you, Teresa. I really do. And one of these days, you and me will have a time. Take care of yourself. Gotta get out of here. Thank you. So, do you see anything that says one of them is Red John? No. I'm sorry about Sophie. I know she helped you. You want to be alone? I'm going to go back to my office. No, no, wait, wait. wait. Anger, I'm not angry. Annihilating rage. About what? I have no idea. You don't know anything about me. Uh, just what's written on your face. You're so much smarter than everybody else, right? But it isn't helping you catch Red John, is it? There's a switch for you. We predict your future. There's a comeuppance headed your way. <laughs> you were a psychic, then you were a cop. Well, let's go see what Brother Ray has to say about that. He's not here. He went to the hotel. He said he had to check on something. Hey, 
Wait a minute. Look, it was just business, nothing personal, okay? Your client, who was it? You know I can't reveal that. All right, I'm arresting you under Section 632. That's worth a year in jail. Hey, wait a second. No, no, no. We can work something out here, right? Jeez, what do you want to know? What were you hired to do? Bug your office, get close to you. The client wanted to know everything you and your team knew. And who was your client? Was it visualize? Yeah. So are we good? I'm sure Mr. Hafner would say thank you if he were here. Who is he? It's not like him to leave without one last bar of compliment. Well, if he had some business to attend to, I am not his only client. I was hoping your office could be discreet. You know what I mean. Yes. Speaking of discreet, it was stupid of you to try and bug the CBI. What are you talking about? Hiring someone outside Visualize might have made you feel safe. But she admitted that you hired her. Agent Choke told me. I don't know what you're talking about. But all I can say is that if someone did bug you, it wasn't me. Bye, Agent Lisbon. Jay, you okay? Grace needs to trace this immediately. Don't worry, Don. There are plenty of ways to keep a woman quiet, okay? All right. I gotta go. Right. Hello. You're late. It's good to see you too, Teresa. Oh, excuse me. Can I get coffee? Black, please? Sure. Thanks. So, why am I here at 8 a.m.? I need help with an investigation. What investigation? It's not important. Really? It is if you want my help. I can't tell you. Come on, Teresa. I know you better than that. What, you and Jane got something going on with the Red John case? Maybe. Maybe. You're right. What is with all the secrecy? Seriously, why are you always holding out on me? You don't think I'm Red John, do you? You're trying to say that one of us in this room is a serial killer. I know it. No, this is crazy. I can assure you it's not. Well, I can assure you I'm not sticking around for this crap. <laughs> I've worked Red John's murder scene since he began. Totally bogus. Huh, that's a shame. I always wanted to work with one of the famous killers. He's been laying low for years, working with friends and proxies. They killed us recently, didn't they? No, that was an internal issue. Lorelai Martin is one of his own people. It doesn't count. Could you guys give us a moment? Hey, Lisbon. Jane. 